I'm convinced that if we do our job, if we lead with conviction and integrity, that history will record the Obama presidency as the last gasp of liberalism's great failure and a turning point for the conservative era to come. I, I know that this president will never get it. But we conservatives aren't just proud to cling to our guns and to our religion. We are also proud to cling to our Constitution. My family, my faith, my businesses, I know conservatism because I have lived conservatism. Now, as governor of Massachusetts, I had the unique experience of defending conservative principles in the most liberal state in the nation. When I... There are three people from Massachusetts here. I appreciate that. <laughs> when I took office, I was facing a $3 billion budget deficit, and the economy was in a tailspin. And even with a legislature that was 85% Democrat, we cut taxes 19 times and balanced the budget all four years. I cast over 800 vetoes. And I cut an entire programs. I erased a $3 billion budget shortfall and left office by putting in place over $2 billion in a ready day fund. And by the way, if there was a program or an agency or a department that needed cutting or elimination, we did it. In fact, one of the, uh, the commentators in Boston, one of our TV commentators, once said that I didn't just go after the, the sacred cows. He said, Mitt Romney went after the whole herd. <laughs> I, I, by the way, that skill, that skill learned in the private sector and practiced for four years in Massachusetts, where, by the way, I, I served in government, but I didn't inhale. I'm still a business guy. <laughs> that experience... That experience of slimming down, cutting, eliminating, I want to take that to Washington. I want to get my hands on Washington, D.C. Now, you may recall as well that uh, during my term in office, our conservative values also came under attack. Less than a year after I took office, the state's Supreme Court inexplicably found a right to same-sex marriage in the Constitution written by John Adams. I presume he'd be surprised. I fought to uh, have a stay on that decision, then push for a marriage amendment to our Constitution. We lost by only one vote in the legislature. And I successfully prohibited out-of-state couples from coming to our state to get married and then going home. On my watch, we fought hard and prevented Massachusetts from becoming the Las Vegas of gay marriage. When I am president, I will defend the Defense of Marriage Act, and I... And I will fight for an amer amendment to our Constitution that defines marriage as a relationship between a man and a woman. During my, my term in office, I also stood up to those who wanted to call into question the very definition of life. I vetoed a bill that would have opened the door to cloning and to embryo farming. I vetoed a bill that would have allowed young girls to obtain access to abortion-inducing drugs. I fought for abstinence education in our schools. And I defended the right of the Catholic Church to serve the community in ways that were consistent with their conscience through adoption programs that place children in a home with a mom and a dad. My, my state was a leading indicator of what liberals would be trying to do across the country and are trying to do right now. And I fought against long odds in a deep blue state, but I was a severely conservative Republican governor. I'll ensure that, that organizations like Planned Parenthood get no more federal support.
And I will reverse every single Obama regulation that attacks our religious liberty and threatens innocent life in this country.